Hi guys, Edmark Designs here with another tutorial. Um, this time we're going to be looking at plugin changes from CS5 to CS5.5. Um, now, as you're probably aware, they have released their 12 month update um, for the CS5 suite. Uh, for example, I have CS5 and CS5.5. They're both pretty similar products. I mean, there's, there's only very, very uh, small and simple changes in the CS5 alternatives. Um, but if you do have both of them installed, and you must note that there is not an upgrade, they're totally different products. I had no option to upgrade my CS5 to CS5.5. I had to install a totally brand new install. Um, but anyway, if you come up to your, your hard drive, now this is for Macintosh, I'm not too sure on what it is for Windows yet as I've not installed it on a Windows machine. And you come to your library and then you go to your application support and you find Adobe and then in this massive directory you find Common. Then in Common you go to plugins and you'll have the plugins for versions you've had installed. Um, in this case I've got CS5 and CS5.5 so we go in the CS5 and in media go. Now here are where all my installed plugins are. Not the plugins which you can just simply drag and drop into the plugins folder. These ones have to be installed. For example, uh, Twixter, uh, Magic Bullet Lux, so on and so forth. If you simply copy and paste all of these and then come back and go into CS5.5 folder in the media core and paste them into there. It'll take a couple of seconds based on you know, depending on how many plugins you have. Then come into your CS5.5 folder, open CS5, as you can see it's all exactly the same as just CS5. Scanning folders now for new plugins. Give it a couple of seconds. If anything, I've noticed that CS5.5 is a little bit slower than uh, the CS5, right? So we close out of this and come to my effects pane, you'll see I have all my effects and plugins back as they are in CS5. I hope this has helped you a little bit. Cheers and have fun.